circumstances give thanks to the Lord. For he is the will the God. For this is the will of God for you in Jesus Christ. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten lepers met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voice, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go, show yourselves to the priest. As they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned glorifying God in a loud voice and fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, where were they not? Where are the nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Ten were cleansed, but only one came back. Where are nine where do I find myself am I finding myself more often among the nine or do I find myself just like this only one who returned to glorify and to thank God. Maybe the question we should ask ourselves, what really happened? Why did this one come back? Why did he come back? <laughs> what made him come back? Or let's put it in another way. What what's makes the difference between the ten? Why didn't he say, no, let me go and just fulfill whatever he said. He says I should go to the praise and that's all. My dear friends, the only leper coming back Realizing his healing, really understood that what happened to him was not ordinary. It was from the divine. His healing was not just normal. It was just not a healing. It was just not just something that happened by itself on its own. But the divine intervention was at play. In our daily lives, when we begin to realize the divine intervention in everything we do, 
in everything we have, in everybody we meet, in any events that happens, we tend to be grateful. And in that way, gratitude becomes our attitude. And in the same way, our gratitude brings wellness. In fact, when we realize that we are the products of the divine and that whatever good and whatever things that happen, it's actually from the hands of the divine, then we, our troubles, even our troubles, ends with gratitudes. And our trouble truly ends the moments we realize that we are not just alone and things don't just happen on their own and we have a shepherd. Then you see why we are having the responsorial psalm of today. The Lord is my shepherd. And what does it say? There is nothing I shall want. There is nothing I shall want. He guides me in the right paths for his name's sake. There is no path that the Lord will guide me, which is a wrong one. Even though that's very, very even powerful, even though I walk in the dark valley, things might not be easy. Things might not be fine. Even though I'm going through those circumstances, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod, which is a staff of commandments, of protection, of direction, of guidance, of authority. It gives me courage. My dear brothers and sisters, gratitude brings wholeness. Let us be aware of the divine intervention in our lives. Let's look at our lives. Count your blessings. Name them by one by one and you will realize how much the Lord loves you.